Good morning, class. I am Okay Sapati from Physics Department, Veritas University, Abuja. Today's experiment is on simple pendulum determination of height of an object. We use this experiment to know the height of an object, for example, the height of sitting to the floor or any given height. For this experiment, we will set a particular height and show you with simple pendulum how you can get the actual height of that length. The apparatus needed for this experiment are rectal stand, the cork, a tray, a pendulum ball, a meter rule, and our stop watch. So we now connect it and show this like this so that the bulb we want to touch the floor but not resting on the floor. Now, in our last experiment, which is determination of acceleration due to gravity, our meter rule was always here while we did our adjustment. But for height of an object, our meter rule at all points must touch the floor while we take the distance from the floor. For this particular experiment, we are going to reduce the length of the pendulum from the floor by 20 centimeter, 40 centimeter, 60 centimeter, 80 centimeter, and 100 centimeter from the floor, and take time T1 and T2 for 20 complete oscillation. So I'm going to adjust for the first one by taking this point to point 20 and adjusting it to this length. So now I have to roll the rest. After rolling, I roll it. After rolling, I will now come on a linear line and fix an angle so that the angle of oscillation will go on. I allow it to roll for some time to avoid every circular movement. I now start my timing for 20 complete oscillation. So I'm starting for the next time. One, two, three, four. So after taking 20 oscillation, my T1 is 47.00. I will now go to my table and record T1 at 47.00. I will come back again and fit again, reset my stopwatch to zero, and repeat the oscillation for T2 as I start now. One, two. Now, my time for T2 is 46.56. So my T2, I record it at 46.56. After that, I will now take again my meter rule, put it on the floor, and adjust now to 40. So I will now go on length 40, which is this. And at the same time, measure it to the up and reduce the bulb, the length of the plate. Again. Now I have rolled it to, this is our 40. I will now repeat the same 20 oscillation, taking time for T1 and T2. I also record it on my table. So I want to start counting for 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, so after the 20 oscillation, I have a time of 43.63. I go back to my table and write 46.43.63. I will now repeat it again for T2. After that, I will reduce my length and repeat the same procedure for length 60 from the floor length 80 from the floor and length 100 from the floor. Once I've completed the table, taking T1, T2, 
I will now take my t average. And from the t average, I will now determine the period capital T by dividing the t average by 20, since we use 20 oscillation. After that, I will square the capital T, that is square of the period. From this, I will plot a graph of t, I will plot a graph of h against t squared. My h is the length, which is 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100, against t squared. After which, I will draw my line of best fit and find my intercept. After I find the intercept, from the intercept, I will now know what is needed. Because questions such as, what is the intercept on the h-axis will be asked, and what does the intercept represent, then precautions taken while performing the experiment, and we have other questions that follow, such as examples of simple harmonic motions and why spherical bulbs are preferred in performing a simple harmonic motion. Thank you and do have a nice day.